Greetings WordPressers, Jackson here. Welcome to the channel. Nice to have you as always. And yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, WordPress 6.6 .6 is about to drop and there are some chunky new features for you up and coming. I'll be covering all the major features here on the channel, along with some of them slightly more hidden ones that aren't grabbing too many of the headlines. But in today's vid, we're going to be talking about the one that is grabbing all the headlines, and that is the epic new feature, Synced Pattern Overrides. So we're going to jump straight into the admin and take a good look at that. And don't forget, as always, this tutorial will be sprinkled liberally throughout with tons of extra full site editing and block theming tips and tricks. Oh, yes, indeed. So let's crack on. It's WordPress 6.6 .6 and the new rather epic synced pattern overrides. <laughs> Oh yes, pattern override. Before we get stuck into that, let's have a quick review of patterns and sync patterns in general. Let's have go jump into the editor. See, we've got all our patterns here. Most themes, or if you're building your own custom themes, you'd, you should have patterns so you can drop them into posts or pages and build out your design and sections and all that sort of jazz. Let's take a quick look at that with a demo on a page, this page called patterns. So yeah, if we have a theme that incorporates page patterns, when you open up a create a new page, you get the offering of creating a page with a pattern. And you see this is a whole page with different sections and all the rest of it. You can go in there, start editing and all that sort of stuff. Brilliant stuff. Love patterns. And then of course we can just go into patterns themselves and go look for some patterns we want to drop into a specific page, into an area. And you see it's pretty slick. Now, sync patterns are where you take a block like we've got here and let's just rename it to CTA sign up, save that, and we can create a pattern and we can sync it. So it will be CTA sign up. We'll make it a demo category and we leave the sync on. This means that it can't be edited anywhere other than in the patterns library. Because remember, we're, we're on a page at the moment. So we'll add that and you see that it turns purple, which means it's a synced pattern. So if we go into it, we can't touch it at all. But we can use the quick link to go edit the original, which is now the pattern in our patterns library. If we just go back to patterns and my patterns, you see there it is. Click on it there and we can edit it. And if for some reason, you know, you get a ton of subs, change it up, save it. If we go back to our page now, then of course the page has got the 10,000 subs. And of course you put that sync pattern all around your website and whenever you want to change it, it changes, which is super cool. So what about synced pattern overrides? Well, simply put, they are synced patterns where you can edit certain parts of the content. As of now, there isn't many parts of you know blocks that you can edit if we have a quick look at the documentation you can see that we can only change the image heading paragraph and button but you know to be fair it doesn't sound a lot but you can actually create amazing workflows and lock down your design and that's the that's the core principle behind synced pattern overrides is that it's all about locking the design so you can hand it over to a client or your organization and there's no fear of any, anyone getting a little creative with the design. Because remember, if you're just dropping in a, a regular pattern, you can do what you want to it. You can mess up the colors, you can mess up the spacing. You can, it's about locking in design, which is brilliant. So let's have a look at what we can do with, with the overrides. Back to our admin and we'll go do some stuff on this example page. We're just gonna delete our synced pattern. We're going to add another one and drop that in. Let's make it that one. Here's a good example of something that, that would warrant a pattern override because clearly this would, you'd need to change stuff in here. And that would be the image, the headline, the text and the button. We want the design to stay exactly the same. So let's make our first pattern override. We open up the uh, sidebar again. We're going to just quickly rename this to uh, section image left. Just copy that and save that and then we're going to create a pattern and we're going to call it that same stick it under the demo category and we're going to leave it on synced so now we've got a sync pattern we're going to use the quick link to the edit original and what that means is that if you highlight a sync pattern or a pattern override pattern this little link here will appear which is super useful to go straight to it and start editing it so now we're in a synced pattern and first up, we're going to actually just align that 
center I, it annoys me that and we're going to make some of the components on here overridable oh yes we are so let's highlight that image if we come down to advanced you see there's a new option here called enable overrides great we'll call it section image left image do the same with the header advanced enable overrides section image left header enable do the same with the paragraph enable and we'll call that text enable and the same with the button it's a cinch right enable overrides button enable now when we save that we've now got a pattern with overrides let's get that into one of our pages i've got a, a few pages here i'm just going to switch to the default editor and pages if i go to the home page and we'll come back to this in a little bit after here i'm going to add a pattern my well my patterns we're going to put that in and now we can highlight the image and we can replace the image we'll open the media library get a different image in we can change the text helping your business through the project and the button text get more info save that let's go and have a look at on our front end and here's our page and there you go and if we dropped in another one the same one you see that's got the original stuff on it really really cool stuff huh and the use cases are endless i mean we're talking not just the sort of sections we're talking about heroes we're talking other calls to actions that might need some various text based on the context of the page they're on testimonial blocks team member blocks anywhere in on your site where you need the design to stay absolutely intact pattern overrides are the perfect thing for you let's get on to another example and that will be on the home page you see we've got this team stuff going on here if we get that sidebar open so we've got a team card here that is currently just a regular block let's turn that into a pattern we'll call it team card demo category leave it on synced add it and now we've got a team card let's go to that edit original and same same again we can get the old advanced options going again enable the override call that team Im image enable same with the heading let's enable that enable team bio exactly the same enabled save that we go back to our page let's get that open over here we've got the synced pan but it has the override and you see there's no other options here to muck around with we can't change the sizing we can't change the aspect ratios or the border or nothing we can just literally replace the stuff so if we want to add another team member we just duplicate that we go replace we'll get our second team member in there and you know it'll be matt smith matt smith change the text etc 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 and again you just duplicate again and you're off to the races change your stuff your design's intact your website's safe from harm and like i said you could even you can do it with with anything so this so we've got the hero here at the top let's make that a sync pattern hero jones let's make that the demo syncs add as a pattern edit the original and then for example this specials list here we could just make these guys the thing that can be changed call it special one same with special two same with special three and same with special four four specials every day save that save that go back to our home page hero completely uneditable apart from our little specials our four specials let's make this jackson jackson's pizza save that and of course it's reflected on the front end super cool wouldn't you say i mean right now as it stands amazing amazing immediate use cases and i can't wait to see what happens next oh yes pattern overrides 
a game changer in the making and plenty more 6.6 .6 features coming your way there might be one up there right now for your next viewing pleasure but until next time i shall see you later